Hi, tea babies. Today I have, um, well, let me start off with what I'm drinking. I'm having a cup of Zest Wishes, which is a nice oolong. It's still available on the David's Tea site. I think it's on sale for a really good price. It's like $5 or something for two, grand, two ounces, which is uh, 50 grams of tea. It's a really nice oolong. I'm um, gonna give you the ingredients list here. Um, Zest Wishes is orange peel, oolong tea, apple, cinnamon, cardamom, natural orange sweet blackberry leaf, and cinnamon flavoring. So uh, this, I believe, is a Christmas tea. Um, I don't know if they relaunched this, if it used to be called something else, but this is, um, you know, it's got definitely a, a holiday-like name. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that this was part of a, uh, a Christmas tea tea that was launched three years ago, four years ago, maybe, I'm not sure. So um, I do like this tea and um, you definitely taste that citrus. It's got a beautiful punch of like, you know, orangey, nice citrus, almost got like a wassail feel to it. Have you ever had like wassail? Um, and you can taste that nice oolong tea. Um, it's a very green oolong in my opinion. You know how some oolongs are very like earthy or minerally. Um, this one is a nice kind of green oolong flavor which complements the citrus and the spices beautifully in my opinion. Such a great tea. So without further ado, I have some empties. Uh, I'm gonna start off with my Puar empties. We've got uh, two ounces of s'mores chai, four ounces of coffee pour, um, which I love this one. I've been making this into ice lattes lately with uh, a little agave to sweeten and I just use regular milk. I uh, froth it and, and a milk frother and I do it on the cold setting. So I make some cold foam, you know, cold frothed milk, pour it on top of my iced coffee puer and it makes a delicious cold uh, iced tea latte first thing in the morning and it really, um, gets you going. It has a high caffeine level, so it gives you a nice boost of energy and nice smooth transition into your late morning. Personally, I highly recommend it. If you like to transition into the warmer weather, cold teas in the morning, iced coffee pour latte is delicious. Green teas. Um, I bought a few boxes of sachets in the last few months and I've been drinking a lot of the North African mint and it is so good, like as a mid-morning tea. I love to drink this one around like 10.30 or 11. It's just great, it carries me beautifully into uh, my lunchtime and it gives me a nice smooth bit of energy if I'm working on a project or a spreadsheet or something tedious, minutes from a meeting or something. Um, this is a great thing to, to sip on when you're uh, I love anything mint when I'm trying to focus on something. If I have, um, if I really have a hard time focusing and I know I need to work on a project for a long time, anything mint is great for me to have. So I highly recommend the North African mint because it does have a slight, a little bit of caffeine in it with the green tea and it's really good. Matcha ice cream, uh, two ounce bag of matcha ice cream. I love that tea, so decadent and delicious. And it really does taste like matcha ice cream. If you've ever had the Hagen does matcha flavored ice cream, it is very similar. It tastes very close to matcha ice cream, the real thing. And if you haven't had matcha ice cream, go give it a try. It's hard to find, but the Hagen dazs one is really good. Um, butterfly jasmine, so good. Two bags of this. It's a little pricey, um, but when I get a David's Tea Reward, um, I treat myself and I get a bag of butterfly jasmine or jasmine black pearls or um, Grand Cru Matcha, any of those are really good choices because they're pricey and um, you know, you're getting a great tea. Uh, and especially with the matcha, you're getting a tea that lasts you a while. So, um, you know, you won't fly through it like you would some of the other teas. Um, Zomba Pearls is another one that I like to use my David's Tea Rewards on. It's a great one. Cherry Berry Punch. Um, I like to drink this with um, a Wild Berry Immunity Boost product that I have. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll tell you about that later. Vanilla Cappuccino, Brown Sugar Bourbon, Santa's Secret, Blood Orange Earl Grey, so good. 
iced. Another vanilla cappuccino. These are single serves from the uh, spring fling or spring festive, whatever. I don't know what it's called. I forget what it's called. Spring fling box. Um, it's got all these single serve teas in it and it's a spring themed um, uh, variety pack of loose leaf teas. David's Tea sent uh, a few weeks ago, had a special running where if you spent more than $50 on the site, they give you a free box of their uh, loose leaf tea sampler for the springtime. And it was a really nice box. Um, it had uh, two uh, samples of, uh, two single serves of loose leaf Japanese sencha in there. And I've been really enjoying that tea. Jingle Bell Chai, oh, I love that one and a tea bag of sweet potato pie. Really great tea. I have, um, well, let me finish up my David's teas and then I'll move on to my other brands. I've got my uh, rooibos, some uh, lemon lullaby tea bags. I love this. I got a box of this and it's such an awesome tea for nighttime. It really is so soothing and comforting and I love it. And. Um, my partner loves it as well. Um, Chris loves lemon teas, and that is such a nice uh, lemon. And it goes beautifully with the, the rooibos. The honey flavor of that rooibos really complements the lemon. It's really, really great tea. I love it. Jessie's tea, a really nice rooibos with coconut and lavender. So delicious. Um, I can't get enough of that one. I have a tin and I am such a fan of that. I haven't tried Jesse's tea as a latte yet and I'm really excited to do that. I just haven't gotten around to it. Headache Halo. I cannot be without this in my collection. I have to have a large backstock of this because if it were ever discontinued, I would be really uh, done in. I, I rely on that heavily. I never reach for a Tylenol or an Excedrin. I reach for Headache Halo first. If that doesn't work, then maybe I'll have a Tylenol or an Excedrin or something, but Headache Halo nine times out of 10 works for my headaches. It really does. Tahitian vanilla, what a tea. That is so good as an iced latte. I mean, that is good any way that you make it. I love Tahitian vanilla. It literally tastes like a birthday cake. It tastes more like birthday cake than the birthday cake tea, in my personal opinion. But if you haven't tried Tahitian vanilla and you happen to be able to get your hands on a bag, it's so good. Organic the Skinny, I bought another uh, box of 25 sachets. Um, and this is a great tea. It's ginger, it's citrus, it's oolong. It's got such a beautiful, like earthy flavor. And um, the ginger and the other, the, the orangey lemon, uh, flavors in there really complement uh, that poor tea and um, I'm sorry the oolong tea and it it just packs a perfect punch and has a nice caffeine level really helps you to, to focus and the flavor is just awesome this is a great tea highly underrated in my personal opinion and then happy kombucha which is so good I love this as a first thing in the morning tea when I'm just not in the mood for your everyday like a black tea or a breakfast tea, like a, a, an English breakfast or Irish breakfast, if you want something a little different, um, but you, a little sweet, but you don't want to add sweetener. This is perfect. It doesn't need any sweetener, but yet it's a little sweet. Um, it's got a moderate caffeine level and it really gets you going smoothly. It's like a very smooth takeoff tea, if you will. Another oolong, another favorite, and this is also great iced. It's oolong, it's got mango in it, it's got these big huge chunks of dehydrated mango. It is, oh, it's a great tea. And I never would have thought to make that iced, but I saw a David's Tea video and a David's Tea guide drinking iced happy kombucha and it looked so good and I have been a fan ever since. Um, I finished off all these sachets of Serenity now uh, because I drink this towards the end of my work day. Um, I usually get out of work around four o'clock or a little after. And I love to make a cup of this between like two and three o'clock. It really helps me to mellow out at the end of my day and work on my projects, finish up whatever I'm doing, get ready for the next work day. Serenity now is also ideal, a beautiful cup right before you wanna fall asleep. If you like to drink a cup of tea while you're reading before going to bed, this is a great tea to accompany you with your book. It's a beautiful balance of fruity and floral. 
and um, it's so calming and relaxing. It's got uh, lavender, or uh, organic currants, or rose hips, apple, spearmint, hibiscus, blueberries, strawberries, um, quince, rose petals, and strawberry and rose water flavoring. And like I said, lavender, it is wonderful. Try and get your hands on some of that tea, it is so good. And finally, I have my herbals. Um, Reishi Relax. I have been singing the praises of this tea for a long time and I've gotten a lot of my friends and coworkers to try it too and they were not disappointed. Um, a pitcher pack of strawberry lemonade. I love this tea so much, but I do find I need to put a, quite a bit of sweetener in that uh, to bring out that strawberry and the lemonade flavor. Peanut butter cup. Not a fan. Um, I made that as an iced latte twice and I just didn't care for it. Um, but that happens once in a blue moon with David's tea where I don't really like a tea. Um, I have plenty of teas that I am neutral on and lots of teas that I like, but I don't necessarily want in my collection. Um, like I would drink them again, but I, I wouldn't necessarily want to like spend money to make my, get a tin of it and acquire, you know, several cups so that I can drink it whenever I want. Um, yeah, it's just not the tea for me. Ashwagandha chai, however, is the tea for me. And I love ashwagandha, I love adaptogens, and that is a fantastic one. So good. Um, I have two bags of that, so there's four ounces of ashwagandha chai. Nordic berry, which is so good, iced with some nice fresh berries in it. I love to make that one in a pitcher um, and then pour it over ice and add a little bit like pomegranate um, seltzer or um, if you have like, uh, what's another good seltzer to have? The raspberry lime is also really good with Nordic berry, raspberry lime seltzer or even cranberry seltzer is very good with Nordic berry. Um, I love it. Easter Earl Grey. This is, um, they didn't bring this one back this year and I, I don't know, it was kind of sad because I really like it, um, but I do have a tin of it so I didn't have to worry, I have plenty of this tea. Um, this is apple, yellow sugar sprinkles, shaped like eggs, hibiscus, pineapple, sweet blackberry leaf, um, lemon myrtle, candied melon, uh, white chocolate, uh, sugar, lemon peel, orange peel, natural um, cacao, cream, and lemon flavoring, cornflower petals, sunflower petals, red cornflower petals, bergamot oil, lime oil, and vanilla. Not exactly the most natural tea that David's has ever come out with, but the worst tea for that is Candy Cane Crush. There are so many artificial ingredients in Candy Cane Crush, it's not even funny. This doesn't even hold a candle to that, but um, this tea is delicious. It's creamy, it's lemony, it's got that beautiful kiss of bergamot. It's really good. I personally love this and I'm so glad I have a tin of it. Um, and Le Digestif, such a wonderful tea. I do have a large tin of this, it's a 10 ouncer, um, and I'm finding myself having to fill it up all the time, um, which is why I'm constantly emptying bags of it because uh, I drank down the tins and then I have to refill them. So um, that is that. And then I've got, um, uh, this one was ginger, uh, I forget which, I think this was a gingerbread latte or something. This is a bird and blend uh, rooibos tea, really good. This one was from Happy Turtle Tea Company. It's called Elevenses, um, and this is really, really good. It's oolong tea, peaches, shizandra berry, apples, freeze-dried raspberries, a natural peach and raspberry flavors, uh, red corn flour, date sugar, roses, and marigold blossoms. Such a delicious, fruity, smooth tea. I loved this. I tried to get it later um, on the site. They didn't have it anymore, and they make a specifically fandom blends. Check out Happy Turtle Tea if you haven't yet. It's really good. Um, and a couple more from Burnham Blend. Blue a raspberry uh, is delicious. It's a green tea. Rice pudding and jam, so good. Apple pieces, rose hip, hibiscus, Taiwanese oolong, Chinese white tea, cinnamon, desiccated coconut, black currant leaves, and natural flavoring. Um, so good. Um, <clears throat> 
this is a really nice rooibos from uh, Daggio called Warm Hugs. Um, creamy vanilla and warm spices. Really, really good fall tea and nice to have before bed because it's got no caffeine. Cocoa Mint Green from Adagio. Chestnut from Adagio. Uh, double Cream Earl Grey Decaf from uh, Friday Afternoon Tea. I love their teas. If you haven't tried Friday Afternoon Tea yet, what are you waiting for? Their teas are so good. You can also get a custom blend appointment uh, with Friday and she is amazing. Um, all I can say is check out Friday Afternoon Tea. You won't regret it. It's so good. And um, this company is called The Tea Ingredient. Um, this one is called Coffee Addict, and it is Assam black tea, Sri Lanka black tea, roasted dandelion root, yerba mate, and natural flavoring. This was a sample, and this tea was so good. Um, I used a little bit of coconut sugar in it to sweeten it, and it was amazing. So um, let me know what empties you're working on, um, what teas you want to try for the summer. Are you drinking iced teas, iced lattes? I have no empty lattes. That is, I mean, uh, no empty matches. That is very unusual for me. I usually have at least a couple bags of empty matches, but I haven't been drinking matches as much lately because it's been a very cold spring here. Anyway, have a great day. I will see you for the next cup and definitely let me know what you're drinking. I'm curious.